it has created new laboratories of repression new re-education camps to assimilate ethnic minorities and no this time these camps are not located in Xinjiang they are being run in Tibet a region spread over a quarter of China once known as the forbidden land it was concealed behind the Himalayas unseen unvisited completely shrouded in mystery it was out of bounds even for Western colonizers the region had a unique identity, a unique language, a unique culture, and a unique way of life. But today, all of this is slowly disappearing, courtesy Xi Jinping and his officials. They have hammered Tibet's unique identity, altered Tibetan Buddhism, killed countless monks, attacked countless monasteries, and pushed endless propaganda. And we have reported on it several times on this show. But China's atrocities just keep getting worse. Look at this report. The United Nations released this on Monday. It says that after targeting grown-ups in Tibet, China has gone after Tibetan children. It is separating them from their families and forcing them to assimilate into the dominant Han culture. Assimilating them, how exactly? Through re-education schools. Let me break down for you the report's findings. To start with, roughly one million Tibetan minority children in China have been separated from their families. One million. These children have been sent to re-education schools where they are brainwashed. Once there, these children have to take a compulsory course in the Mandarin language. In fact, the entire educational content and environment is built around the Han culture. The textbooks almost solely reflect the li lived experience of the Han students only. And there is no substantive study of Tibetan language, history or culture. Basically, China is catching them young, enrolling children at re-education camps and brainwashing them about their identity. Here's what the UN report states, let me quote, Tibetan children are losing their facility with their native language and the ability to communicate easily with their parents and grandparents in the Tibetan language, which contributes to their assimilation and erosion of their identity. And by the way, sending children to such schools is just a way of eroding their identity. The other is destroying monasteries and academies located in Tibet. Take this report, for instance. It's from 2022. This is when China destroyed a revered Tibetan statue in Sichuan. What's worse, Chinese authorities forced monks from local monasteries to watch the demolition. And this was not an isolated incident. In December 2021, China destroyed a 99-foot tall statue of Buddha. The place also housed a Buddhist academy. China removed its prayer wheels, burned down the flags and forced the Tibetans to watch all of this. And besides targeting their places of worship, China is also targeting Tibetans' prospects of growth. You see, China has cut off Tibet from the world outside. It doesn't allow Tibetans to travel abroad. Many of them don't even have passports. Getting a passport is harder for a Tibetan than getting into heaven. These are not my words. This is what Human Rights Watch reported in 2015. China has also sent thousands of Han Chinese into the region to erase the Tibetan way of life. How exactly? By making them marry local Tibetan women. That's right. China is promoting inter-community marriages in Tibet. It says it's doing so to promote unity. But we all know what its real intentions are. China has also rolled convenience police stations. What are these now? They are police stations installed at street corners. They, are, they encourage the community-based policing. In 2011, there were 2,500 such police positions all over China. More than 400 of them were in Lhasa, the traditional capital of Tibet. And lastly, China has cut off any international support for the Free Tibet Movement. China goes after anyone who speaks about it. It doesn't matter who they are. For example, Lady Gaga. 
In 2016, she met with the Dalai Lama in Indianapolis. How exactly did China respond to that? It banned Lady Gaga. The singer was added to a list of hostile foreign forces. Let me just repeat that so it registers. China labeled Lady Gaga a hostile foreign force. We bet they haven't heard bad romance. And since we're discussing China's re-education schools and labor camps, you must also know what China did with The Simpsons recently. You know, the animated American sitcom. China censored it in Hong Kong for mentioning labor camps in one of its episodes. And this only tells you the kind of paranoia that prevails in China, where the state gets threatened even by a cartoon. In any case, if China can censor the Simpsons, one can only imagine the kind of censorship that is currently at play in regions like Xinjiang and Tibet. Two regions that operate like a prison. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.